What do you do, baby boo? So, <clears throat> I'm back with another video, and <coughs> excuse me. Um, I might be doing two videos right now. I'm not really sure. We'll see, because it's already late at night. But I just wanted to record this video because I've been wanting to record it for a while. But I don't know why I haven't. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my personal self, like my personal, yeah, my personal self. Not really my personal life. It has to do with my life, but it's more about me. And because you guys only see like the happy side of me, you know, the nice side of me and all that. But I honestly could be a really mean person. I could be a really big bitch. I could be really negative about life. Oh, I'm really negative about life, honestly. And I want to change that. And I've talked to girls like the day before yesterday or yesterday. I talked to these two girls and they they get it seemed like they're kind of like me because of what they posted on Facebook, you know, so I, I told them I wanted to go to therapy and stuff, like, I'm just starting off, like, not even, like, saying anything, just starting right into it, but it's okay, um, I told them that I want to go to therapy, um, to try to fix myself, but they said that they've tried it and it doesn't help, both of them, so I don't know, I've been to therapy before as well, but that was just because of, like, depression, because I guess you could say I used to be depressed, um, if you guys would like a video about that, just let me know. You know, that's the teenagers um, of my life. But if you guys would like to know about that, just let me know and I will do that. But this is just about my personality and how I see things in life and stuff like that. Um, so I first off want to start off by saying that I'm, I don't have anything written down, so it's just going to be kind of everywhere. But I first want to start off by saying that I'm really, really negative about life. Um... For instance, you know, me and my husband are on our own now. We have our own apartment and stuff. And when we are low on money and we are struggling, I am so negative about life. Like, I just I just think life sucks when that happens. But God always finds a way to help us out. Like, something always happens to where we're helped. Like, we get money from this place, we get money from this place. Or, like, God always helps, you know? And I'm always negative whenever we're broke, but when I see that God helps, then I'm also happy, you know, and it's just, it's hard for me to think positive when we're struggling because a lot has been going on these past couple of weeks and God, <laughs> he just helped so much. Like when my stepdad thought he had cancer, um, I, I honestly doubted God at during that time you know because what, what are you supposed to think I was just thinking in my head like why would God do this you know and God did it for a reason because I honestly didn't appreciate my, appreciate my stepdad that much before that happened but when that happened and me thinking in my head what if I lost this guy you know I was just thinking all this shit in my head and I was like I should appreciate him because he's a really good guy and stuff like that but um that's way off topic but that's just telling you guys how God is here um <clears throat> so God has definitely helped us and I need to just stop being so negative about life it's not only about money you know I'm just negative about a lot of things I'm negative as in like sometimes I think I have breast cancer because sometimes my boobs hurt sometimes I feel lumps in my boobs but if I feel that way I should go get it checked out I'm just I just I'm lazy and also I'm scared to find out because my auntie Marianne has breast cancer and cancer runs in my dad's family so you know I'm scared of that um, I've, I've thought I had breast cancer for over a year now and I haven't I've checked out Planned Parenthood but they just touched it I didn't get like um, I forgot what it's called but like I didn't go check with like a real doctor um, but I really do need to check because sometimes I'm scared of that like I'm just a really negative person <sighs> and I need to stop that because People don't like to be around negative people, you know, so that's one thing that I need, I struggle with and I need to stop doing. Another thing is, when people make me mad, I blow up, I start talking some mean shit, like I just talk shit and it's mostly with my family because I don't have, I have friends but I don't hang out, you know, I don't hang out with my friends and stuff. So it's mostly with my family and I shouldn't take my family for granted because you never know what could happen, you know. So like let's say if, it's mostly with my sister and my husband. <laughs> So my sister Destiny, um, she's a big bitch too. Sometimes she just irritates the shit out of me and she's just, she's just really rude and she just gives attitude and she's just a bitch. <laughs> so 
like whenever she's a bitch to me i am like 10 times more a bitch like i just talk so much shit to her i bring her down you know and i shouldn't do that because that's my sister um and with my husband you know he's my husband whenever he makes me mad or he doesn't agree, if he doesn't agree with me on something that i want him to agree with me on i will blow up on him too i wouldn't talk as much shit as i do to my sister but um you know, I do talk shit to him. I... When we got into a big argument, I threw my ring out the window while we were driving. And I really feel guilty for that, you know? Like, I don't know, I just don't like crying, but... Ever since my teenage years, I have been this way. And I just... I'm a mean person when I'm mad. And I hate that about myself because... You know, it's just with my family and it's with my husband and I don't want to be that way towards them because those are the close ones to me. Those are my loved ones, you know, and I just hate the way I am. I've tried and I told myself that I'm going to change, but I never do and it's just hard. And I want to know if any of you girls go through this, if you guys are like me or... You know, I just want to know that I'm not alone because I sometimes feel like I'm a big witch and I just can't control myself. I really can't. And me and my husband, we clash heads so much because we are both like hard headed, you know, we like we both have anger problems. So like when we argue, it's really bad and sometimes we'll argue like a lot during the month sometimes it'll be good throughout the month but i just don't want to be that way towards him anymore and because sometimes when we argue and we argue so much i feel like i don't love him anymore and i know that's not true because i love him with all my heart he is not only because he is the baby of my father but because i fell in love with him and I don't think I would ever fall out of love with him because I've never had a guy like him in my life. And trust me, I've been with so many guys, you guys. And I, re I kind of regret it, but then again, I don't. Because, you know, everything happens for a reason. But, um, I just... Like, yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm falling out of love with my husband, but I know I'm not because I will always love him, you know? He has been here for me. He helped me, you know, because I used to be really depressed and I used to do stupid ass shit. Um, but that would be another video if you guys would like to see that. But like, he helped me through my depression um, before my son came here. And when my son came here, it was like completely gone. Like, I wouldn't think of killing myself at all. I wouldn't think of suicide at all. Um, and my husband helped me a lot too. But after I had my son, it's just like, I, I never once thought about suicide since I've had my son. Um, but... I'm just a really big bitch and it's basically to my sister Destiny and my husband and I really wish I could stop because I don't like to hurt my sister's feelings you know and I know she doesn't show up but I know it does hurt her feelings because it would hurt my feelings and I just it just don't want to do that and like I said I threw my ring out the window and I know that really hurt my husband's feelings and I say mean things to him um, I say really mean things, you guys. <sighs> you guys might not think that I'm like that, you know, because in my videos I'm always so happy and and I don't probably seem that way, but I am a really, really big bitch. And I just really want to stop. If you guys have been through this, if you guys know anyone that goes through this, or if you guys know anything that can help me stop being like this, please let me know because I swear I have tried so many times to stop i have told myself so many times that i'm not going to do that anymore i have promised my husband a lot of times that i am not going to be the way that i am <clears throat> and i just can never change i just i don't know when i'm gonna change but i could never change and i just don't want to be like that to the people that love me and to the people that i love because that's not the way you treat people you love you know so yeah that's basically it i just want to let you guys know a little bit more about me that I may seem I am nice you guys I'm nice I'm nice to people but when people irritate me that's when I'm a mean person that's when I talk so much shit and just bring people down that's the only time I do that it's not like I'm gonna go up to my husband but like you're fucking ugly and fat like look at your big ass belly you know I'm not gonna just go up to him and say something like that 
if he irritates me or like I said if he doesn't agree with something that I want him to agree with on me with then that's when I will blow up and start talking shit and just bring him down and talk low on him when I shouldn't you know so that's the only time I do it it's not like I'm a mean ass person and I'm just a bitch I'm not I'm a really nice person and I'm good I'm easy to get along with and um I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm fun to hang out with everyone says it but I'm not trying to be conceited or anything but yeah but uh, I'm just mean whenever I'm irritated and I just get irritated really fast for the little tiniest things ever and just let me know if you guys are like that so I won't feel alone and let me know if you guys know anything that I could do to change that because I really want to change myself and I just need help I just need help I so just don't want to go to therapy because everyone's saying that it's a waste of time. I don't want to waste some money on that shit, you know? I'm already struggling enough as it is. I don't need to waste money on some fucking therapy that's not going to help. So just please let me know, you guys. I would be really, really happy. And just let me know if you guys go through the same thing. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I think I'm going to do another video right now just showing you guys what's in my purse because like, I need to clean that shit big time. I will see you guys in my next video. Also remember to, um, if you guys would like to hear a story about my depression or anything like that, just let me know and I will do that. But I will let you guys go now. I really hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I love you. Agree with, with something that, like, if he doesn't agree with me, uh, I don't that. I want him to agree with me. If he doesn't agree with me on something that I want him to agree with me on, <coughs> I can't talk.